A rectifier is an electronic circuit used to convert AC voltage and current to DC voltage and current. The single-phase full-wave rectifier consists of an AC voltage source, center tap transformer, resistor, and two diodes. During the positive half cycle of the input voltage, diode D1 conducts and diode D2 is in a blocking condition. The input voltage appears across the load. During the negative half cycle of the input voltage, diode D2 conducts while diode D1 is in a blocking condition. The negative portion of the input voltage appear across the load as a positive voltage. Hence the voltage and current seen from the load resistor or in DC form is seen in the image. In this tutorial, you are going to learn how to design a single phase full wave rectifier with center tap transformer. Before we begin the tutorial, if you're interested in engineering simulations, coding tutorials, and more, be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications. Also, Feel free to drop any questions or thoughts in the comments below, I'm always excited to hear from you. Now let's begin. When you open your MATLAB software, you should see this window. At the top of the home menu bar, click on Simulink. Now the Simulink window is opened. Click on this blank model template. This window opened is where we will be designing our model. Now click on the library browser icon, so we can select the building blocks of our circuit. With the Simulink library browser opened, scroll down on the first panel to Simscape. The arrow beside the Simscape is the drop-down arrow. Click on the Simscape drop-down arrow. Click on the Power System drop-down arrow. Click on Specialized Technology drop-down arrow. Click on Fundamental Blocks drop-down arrow, and then click on the Fundamental Blocks. The first component to add is the Power GUI. Scroll down the second panel to locate the Power GUI, click the Power GUI, then right-click on it to open the dialog box, click on Add Block to Model Untitled. Click on Electrical Sources, right-click on AC Voltage Source to open the dialog box and click on Add Block to Model Untitled. We are going to follow this pattern as we add the different component we need. Remember, that once you locate the component, right-click on it to open the dialog box and click on Add Block to Model Untitled. Click on Elements, scroll down the second panel to locate Linear Transformer, and add it to Model Untitled. Scroll down to Parallel RLC Branch and add it to Model Untitled. Click on Measurement, add the current measurement component to Model Untitled, scroll down and add Voltage Measurement component to Model Untitled. Click on Power Electronics, scroll down and add the diode component to Model Untitled. Music 
Move the first panel back up to Simulink at the top. Click on Commonly Used Blocks. Scroll down the second panel and search for Scope. Add the scope to Model Untitled. Click on Signal Routing. Scroll down the second panel and add the twin components from and go to to the model untitled. You can now close the library browser. And let's start building the circuit. To move the components around, first click on the component, pressing the left mouse button on the component move the mouse around to move the component. Do this to separate all components, as shown on the screen. Double click on the AC voltage source to show the properties and change the peak amplitude, V, to 240 volts and frequency, HC, to 50 and apply the changes and click OK. Connect the AC voltage source to the transformer. To connect two components, pressing the left mouse button on the component link point and drag as shown on the screen. Connect the second and third winding of the transformer to form the center tapped as shown on the screen. Double click on the transformer to open its properties and carry out the changes as shown on the screen, and apply the changes. Open the diode properties and unclick the show measurement port. Duplicate the diode. To do this, click on the diode, hold the right mouse button on the component and drag to duplicate. Connect the transformer second and third winding to the two diodes and connect the other ends together as shown on the screen. Use Ctrl R to rotate the ammeter such that the minus sign is towards the transformer, right click on the ammeter to show the dialog, click on rotate and flip, click on flip block, click on up down to flip the ammeter.
Connect the ammeter to the transformer center as shown on the screen. Open the parallel RLC branch and change the branch type to R for the resistance in ohms type 300 and apply the changes. Then connect the ammeter to one end of the resistor and the other end of the resistor to the diode. Rotate the voltmeter and ensure the minus sign is towards the transformer. Connect the voltmeter to the resistor. Duplicate the voltmeter and connect it to the AC voltage source. Right click on the scope, select signal and ports, number of ports to reveal the drop down menu and select 3. Duplicate the go-to block and connect one each to the voltmeters and ammeter. Duplicate the from block and connect them to the scope. Open the properties of the go-to block connected to AC voltage source and type AC underscore V on the go-to tag. Open the properties of the go-to block connected to the resistor and type R underscore V on the go-to tag. Open the properties of the go-to block connected to ammeter and type R underscore A on the go-to tag. Remember to click apply after changing any properties. Open the properties of the first form block connected to the scope on the go to tag type AC underscore V. Open the properties of the second form block on the go to tag type R underscore V. Open the properties of the third form block on the go to tag type R underscore A. Remember to click apply after changing any properties. Change the time at the top bar to 0.5. Double click on the scope to open it. Click on the view menu and select layout. Select three layout boxes.
Click on the green play button to perform the simulation. You can see from the output result that the output voltage and output current are in DC form. To remove the harmonics, you will need a capacitor connected across the resistor. Thanks for watching. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like this video, share it with others who might benefit, and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. I'd love your feedback or any questions you have in the comments. Let's keep the conversation going. See you in the next video.